Hi, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and give you some updates to the Detonate Dead character, which has actually been respect to Volatile Dead. So um, there hasn't really been any changes to the actual skill tree. Uh, and things about Detonate Dead, like, or the thing about Detonate Dead is there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't really fitting the way I'd like. Like, I just wasn't really enjoying it. Um, the damage was great. The clear speed was okay. The single target was great. There's just something about it just didn't feel right. I tried going prolif. Uh, I respect my tree a bit. It didn't really work out. I wasn't really enjoying prolif mechanics. So, in general, I just started to play Volatile Dead, and I am loving the character. So... Um, just to go over my gear and everything, I'm using Fortify, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks for our uh, Fortify, basically our movement skill. My um, helmet has increased crit, GMP, Power Charge on crit, Cremation. I almost never use Cremation right now, it's probably going to be for like red tier maps. I've also got a shield here, you can see, it's just got Lightning Golem, Decoy Totem, and that's about it. Boots have the same setup, Arcane Surge, Desecrate, Spell Cascade, Faster Casting. Now note, this is very important, whether you're playing my DD character or my Volatile Dead character, highly recommend farming Cruel Lab to get a Leech Enchant. It doesn't take more than like an hour and a half max. Find a good pair of boots that you like, get an Enchant on them, and then you're good to go. I'm um, using the Oscarm gloves. I ended up dropping Temporal Chains and picking up these gloves after I got my Enchant. Uh, since I do enough damage, most targets just die. Here's the current belt I'm using that I actually found, which was awesome, along with the Abyss Jewel. And the links that go Volatile Dead, Spell Echo, Increased Crit, Ellie Focus, Crit Damage, Controlled Destruction. Um, there's my gear. Remember, you can see all of my gear on my actual character page. Just type exclamation mark profile in the stream or click the link in the description and you can see Pox DD. Alright, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So I just have a Atoll here. Nice little happy face yellow tier map. So the power charge generation comes from the gloves. Every time our orbs hit a target, uh, if they one shot a target, they probably will not apply Assassin's Mark. However, the Corpse Explosion is a hit, and it does apply Assassin's Mark, which is awesome. So our Corpse Explosion doesn't one-shot, so everything has Assassin's Mark whenever we cast on top of them. Alright, here is the boss. Now, we use Vol Grace for our defenses. Um, you can see here we're currently at 31 dodge and 39 spell dodge with it on. The reason why I chose Vol Grace over Vol Haste is because the minions have, like, well, not minions, they're not really minions. The volatile dudes have, like, a movement speed limit, right? They're not scaled off of your movement speed or minion speed, so I prefer to have Vol Grace for me defensively while I wait for the orbs to, like, seek out the targets. Remember that they're not, they, they do leech for you off of your own leech. Same thing with cremation, this does leech for you as well. Oops. And another mis or, uh, misconception or common miscommunication that is happening with Volatile Dead is that these orbs are not projectiles. There is no projectile tag on the actual, like, skill itself. Alright, and here is a little abyss. It would be awesome if we got an abyss depths here. So you guys can see how we deal with the manta rays and all the other abyss mobs.
Ooh, that hurt a bit. Alright, there's the trove. And we have four monsters remaining. So that's pretty much how the character clears. Um, unlike a lot of my other builds, I really like this character for like the odd layout maps, like cells, cells, and you know, cells, mainly because the way the orbs work is you summon the orbs and as time persists, they only last like five seconds. They actually become quicker and quicker and quicker. And their AI is really smart. So like these orbs down here will actually f like seek out a target over here. So they'll like hug the wall, go across and just boom on them. So that's really good for picking out stragglers and just in general, you know how there's always like that weird thing where like say there's mobs over here and you try to self cast against the wall and you like miss or something. These orbs don't care. They just keep on going and going. And remember they leech for you too. So if you were to get stunned or anything, you'll still keep healing from it, which is awesome. All right. So that pretty much shows how the character plays. Um, in terms of the gear and everything, you can kind of see what I'm working with on my weapon. It doesn't really matter what type of additive damage you get, just because, like, for the craft, because uh, you're penetrating all resistance anyway, and you can't shock because you're using Ali Focus. So just in case I were to not run Ali Focus, I got something like this. I personally would tell you to try to prioritize casting speed and crit multiplier over almost everything. Uh, crit multiplier because it scales with Assassin's Mark, uh, and then also with Inquisitor, Inevitable Judgment, and then you want to have a decent amount of crit rate. So I only have, it shows 35% here, but remember that you also have the additional bonus from Righteous Providence because you're not actually igniting or applying any ailments, so you always add in your base crit as well uh, of the actual skill. And let me show you guys what my crit rate normally looks like with flasks, well not flasks on, but with uh, power charges. One, four, we should have six, I believe. All right, so with six power charges, we're sitting at 51% crit rate, and then we have our uh, our Righteous Providence, and then of course we roll it twice with the Diamond Flask, which makes for just a really nice character. Uh, I'm very happy I got my crit to this value, even with Control Destruction, so that's pretty cool. And our shield doesn't even have a uh, spell crit rolled on it, which is awesome. So overall, pretty happy with the character. Uh, plays, I mean, you can level it exactly the same as a Dead and a Dead character. Everything is the exact same on the tree. You just swap the actual skill gems. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. So yeah, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I'll continue to update you guys with the actual character. Uh, if you guys wanna see some of the jewels I'm currently using, here you go. I pretty much just have this one here and this one here. And we'll be filling in the life as we go. Uh, I guess really fast before we end, we are still sitting on 6.7k effective life, which is pretty nice. And I've got like, what, one, two, three, four jewels left. So probably like another 1k effective life between leveling up and jewels, which is nice. And then probably going after a Cloak of Defiance because of our colors. Other than that, I guess you could use a Carcass. But that pretty much summarizes everything, so... Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, you can always catch me streaming live at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys later.